JMeter is a tool which can be used to load test websites. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an HTTP proxy using JMeter. Uh, you can use this to record manual interactions with a website so that you can replay them later. First I'm going to go to my test plan and I'm going to create a place where I can uh, deposit the recorded actions. So I'm going to go right click on test plan, click add, go to threads, and then select thread group. Next I'm going to right click on thread group, add, logic controller, recording controller. Uh, so this is not absolutely necessary but I like to uh, deposit the actions here. You'll see that in a bit. I'm going to right click workbench and this is where we'll add the um, HTTP proxy node. So I'll go to add, non-test elements, HTTP proxy server. And then I'm going to use a few settings that uh, have worked for me, but you should definitely experiment with your own. I'm going to select the node that I created before, the recording controller in the, the thread group. I'm going to check reg regex matching, select HTTP client 4, and also add some patterns that I want to exclude from the recording. Now, requests will still be made for these, but, uh, you know, it just won't record uh, the requests. And I'm also going to add a listener called view results tree, and that will allow us to see the requests here as they come in. So now that I'm finished, I'm just going to start the proxy. And I'm going to go over to Firefox, and I've installed this extension called Foxy Proxy. And it just gives us an easy way to set up a proxy server. Uh, one thing that I want to note, let me go back to JMeter. The port that I've used is 8080, so we'll need that later. In Foxy Proxy, I've already set up a proxy for localhost 8080. But let me show you real quick the settings that I've used. So I'm going to click on this. And edit selection, proxy details. Note that I've used uh, localhost as the host and port 8080. Uh, that's the port JMeter will be running its proxy server on. So to enable the proxy, I just click this, use proxy for all URLs. And if I were to refresh this, it wouldn't work because uh, the add-ons, uh, the site goes over SSL. Let's go to a site that doesn't use SSL. Google. Now let's go back to JMeter, the view results tree, and we can see some requests here for Google. And they've been recorded in this controller. Everything worked. So um, if you want to record uh, requests over SSL, uh, that can be done. You just need to, um, I think it'll say here, uh, set up the JMeter proxy certificate with your browser. And that's out of scope uh, for this video. Um, but there are instructions on uh, that are easily Googleable. Thanks.